Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in so it's Monster Legends Week, so we do have a bunch of new league movesets for you guys, as well as some new league events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first moveset is for the Mythic version of the Legendary Barbados, and he's going to be a Dark Attacker with double damage and extra turn skills, just like the Legendary one. And it looks like he almost does the exact same moves as the Legendary one, except just with higher damage. So, basically, if you don't know what Barbados is, you can, like, remove his own life to gain, like, a damage boost. Yeah, he still does that, and he gives an extra turn. And he, like, like removes life from himself while attacking and it looks like he also removes it from his allies and i do really like that gimmick it's really cool but i don't know how good it's going to be so yeah i guess we'll just have to wait and see when this monster comes out if he's good or not and then we have a weird guy and that is going to be a magic support with triple damage magic council hater and palace hater so overall hater skills are not that good honestly they are very situational and normally you just don't really get full use out of them since most people don't use the monsters you need but but I guess we'll just see if he's good. Oh, he does have vulnerable, which is pretty good. But it is only single target. It can remove positive status effects from one enemy, which is pretty good. And it gives a hater, which is mediocre. It can give triple damage, which is pretty good. I do like that. And that also removes the negative status effects, which is pretty good. But overall, these moves aren't like amazing. Oh, it has damage reduction, which is decent. But yeah, overall, not amazing. But if the monsters that are in the books that it has haters towards are meta, then it will be very good. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see and then we have monk flame Org, which is a fire support with stamina drain and torture immunity so this monster can remove 50 percent stamina from all enemies which is okay it can give stamina to allies and it removes negative status effects from one ally which is pretty good it can remove tortures which is decent i guess not many monsters have tortures though well i guess the new tortures are pretty good so it'd be nice to be able to remove them and it also has an aoe moderate fire damage with 100 percent stamina from all enemies that is very good so overall it looks like this monster is all right it has a couple of 100 stamina removal which is really good and yeah so some 50 percent and it's got some ner which is really good so yeah overall pretty good monster and then brain Leon is a metal control with possession nanovirus and shield skills so its first move is true vision with a 50 percent shield which is all right it has a low metal damage move which is not good at all i don't even know why that's there it has moderate special damage with possession and nanovirus one enemy which is all right 50 percent chance of applying precision to itself and a 30% life shield, that's not that good. Why doesn't it just give precision to itself? It's not like that move is very OP or anything. And heavy special damage with mega possession to one enemy, which is pretty good. And it's got an AoE possession, which is alright. And an AoE nanovirus with skill mirror, which is pretty good. Overall, he seems alright. He doesn't seem like OP or good or anything, though. And then a new status effect, Righteous Court Hater, which we did already talk about. It does triple damage to monsters in the Righteous Court book. So if any meta monsters are in that book, this monster up here will be pretty good. And then, of course, during Christmas, you will be able to go ahead and request and donate metropolitan cells, corrupted cells, cosmic cells, and original mythic cells. And then there's going to be an Eximus breeding map where you can use the two monsters from the two past legends passes to breed Eximus, which is pretty cool. So definitely make sure to get him. And then Arctic special mission, you can get five Arctic cells for completing all of the daily goals, which is pretty cool. Definitely try to rank him up with that. And then a capitalized breeding map where you can use these monsters and breeding men to get Lord Nobotus, which is really good. Lord Nobotus is a very good monster. Definitely try to get him. And then you can actually see all of the events that are going to be going on for Christmas right here. I'm not going to go over them all, but the main ones are probably the discounts if you want to spend real money. Especially the Legends Pass discount, that is very important. And then the Fraternity event is really good. And I guess the cells are decent, but you can't really get any good monsters out of that. And then the rune slots are really good. If you need to unlock slots, definitely do it during those events. And then you can get Teddy Bomb tokens in Monster Wood in order to get Teddy Bomb, which is pretty cool. Definitely do that. And then another new status like magic council hater which is another one that that one monster has so if any meta monsters are in this book it'll be pretty good and then zyron staff after damaging with a skill if target's life is above 50 percent it'll remove stamina from targets which is pretty good because it can be aoe and then when turn ends if any enemy is under control status remove stamina from targets and deal percent points of damage to targets so that seems all right and then crazy stars event monster wood you can get golden snowflakes out of this which is pretty great because golden snowflakes will give you mythics and you can also get xmas and sunny which are both pretty decent monsters and then we have some information on the upcoming bounty hunt and basically all you need to know is that snow Ghost is a brand new megaton and it will be a free monster and jaeger year end is going to be the paid one and he is a fire attacker with pierce which is really good so both of these monsters are really good and then upcoming air sagas for barbados rex and chieftain hour so try to get both of these monsters so you can get around like 300 gems if you do both maybe even more and then we have juggernaut's trait which is hardened immune to 
possession area shield which is pretty good and then we have earth hogs trait which is immune to bleed immune to stun immune to freeze which isn't that great honestly and then we have teddy bombs which is dodge air which is very good immune to blind which is decent harden which is really good self precision which is decent area random torture which is actually pretty good because you can get the new tortures out of that so yeah overall the best one is definitely teddy bomb and yeah that is going to be it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more elite videos like this and i see you guys in the next one goodbye